Hi guys, hope you're well. Today I'm going to be doing a video on this Lansky knife sharpening set. I've had this set about 10 years, used it loads, replaced the stones a few times over the years, but I've got to use it today, so I thought I might as well do a quick video and show you. So my wife's got these god-awful cheap, horrendous kitchen knives, and with Christmas coming up in a couple of days, I know they're going to be getting used, so I thought I'd put a decent edge on them, at least they might actually have a chance of carving up Christmas dinner. Just to show you how bad they actually are, do a paper test. Absolutely horrendous. Look at that. So let's use the Lansky and put a proper edge on it. A quick overview of the set up close. You've got a bottle of honing oil. You've got different grit stones. You've got these guide rods for the stones. I'll show you how that's all set up. And then you've got this. This is the knife clamp. You can see different increments marked on here on these holes so you can create the correct angle for sharpening so you can select whichever angle you want to put the edge on your blades. So that's the basis of the set. Let's set it up and show you how it is in action. So I've got my Lansky sharpening clamp nipped up in this vise. Then you want to bring your knife in, put it in the clamp, about in the middle, and then just do this thumb screw up tight, and that will hold the blade by pinching on it, and it won't move when you're sharpening. So your stones are different grits. You see the red one's 120, and the green one's 280, and they progressively get finer grit. So I'm going to start off with the 120, because I've got to completely create a new angle on this knife. So what you do is you get your stone, and you put this rod in the bottom, and then you want a perfectly flat surface. I'm using this bit of angle on the bench. And you want to align this dead straight when you do this up. So it maintains the same angle with every stone. It's a really important step. You see the stone's dead flat, the rod's flat. So that's set up. I'm going to set a couple other stones up so they're all ready to go. And then we'll start sharpening them. You want to put a tiny bit of oil on your stone. Just a drop. Like that. And just rub that onto the surface. And that'll get the stone ready. And periodically, with a cloth, just give the stone a scrubbing off and a re-oil. And that way you'll clear all the metal filings and debris from the stone. So what I like to do is get a little bit of the honing oil on my finger. Gently support the back of this guide rod. And then you just literally, in a motion, pushing forward with not too much downwards pressure. Start sharpening the edge. Take your time. You can work in a section at a time. But you just do this and work your way through all of your stones on both sides gradually getting finer and finer just working our way through the grits now on the other side getting finer and finer as we go like I say I just use this finger at the back just so the guide rods not rattling around like crazy a little bit of the honing oil on the back of your finger just helps it all glide smoothly so we've worked through all the grits now it's a few passes on this leather strop there's some compound on there and this should get it razor sharp. So same knife, let's see how we did. So there you go guys, proof's in the pudding. Get yourself a Lansky, get perfect cutting angles on your blades and get them really sharp. I'll see you next time. 